All right, number two, we want to know um, several questions. So there's three parts remaining, four all together. We want to know, is this graph a function? We're going to find the domain and range, any intercepts, and any symmetry with respect to x-axis, y-axis, or the origin. Okay, so let's refresh what, um, I think I already have the textbook open. Um, how do we know if a graph is a function? So you go textbook. And then when you have a graph, we're going to be looking at the vertical line test. So this is something that you need to know. What we would do is we would draw vertical lines on the graph, and it should only cross one time, no matter where we draw it. If a vertical line only crosses once, no matter where we draw it, it is a function. So these two would be functions. If a vertical line were to cross twice, so you see how we have two points here, this would not be a function. It would fail the test. So these two are not functions, these two are. So in the example that we have here, if I drew a vertical line on this graph, no matter where, it would cross only once. That agrees, so this is a function. All right, we wanna look at the domain and range based on this graph. Now, if you're not familiar with trig, this is a um, graph of a trig function looks like cosine okay and um, whether you know that or not it's irrelevant but you look at the furthest point to the left on the x-axis it is a negative pi and the furthest point on the right where this graph stops is positive pi so from negative pi to positive pi is our domain we want to put it in interval notation and since this is a closed point these will be included so we will use brackets so bracket negative pi comma positive pi and then close bracket that would be our um, domain now our range we look at this graph from bottom to top lowest point to highest point so lowest point appears to be negative one which it is included because a closed circle or solid line and it goes all the way up to a maximum height of positive one. So our range, also in brackets, because those points are included, would be negative one to positive one, close bracket. Okay, so now we want to find intercepts. We're gonna type an ordered pair. Um, use exact, um, use exact answer using pi's if we need okay so intercepts it crosses the x-axis twice so there's two x-intercepts and then it crosses the y-axis once so there's one y-intercept and it just says intercepts so we're going to type all of them so x-intercepts first um, you can see it looks like it's crossing and this is labeled as negative pi over two we have to type exact answers so ordered pair, we're going to have negative pi, can't see, that is not doing right. Okay, so parentheses, let me see if I can do this correctly. It's too big, we can't really see what we're doing. Maybe I can shrink this window. Okay, so we want an ordered pair. We need to go to the front. We need a parenthesis here. Okay, so we want negative pi over two as the x coordinate, and then comma zero. That's one x intercept, and then use a comma to separate answers. So I have to put a comma between them, and then there's another intercept. It's not doing that right. I guess I need to do parentheses first. Nope. Just did. So division bar first. Now I got the comma up there. Okay, comma, space, division bar. And then I got to go in front and then do the parentheses. Okay, so it's kind of complicated. All right, so pi over 2, comma, 0. And then close. So these are our two x-intercepts. Now we have a y-intercept at 0, 1. 
So comma and then zero comma one. So that will give us our Y intercept. So we got our three labeled there. <coughs> and then the last part, we want to figure out symmetry. So <coughs> we can look at this graph. Let me go back in a little bit. We can look at this graph and see that if I flip it directly across the Y axis, it has Y axis symmetry. Okay. So for sure it has Y axis. Now, if I were to flip it across the x-axis, take this part and flip it down, I do not have that same image below here. So we do not have x-axis symmetry. Now, origin, I would want to flip this and then flip it down. It does not have origin either. So we only have symmetry with respect to the y-axis with this graph.